That was the Pointer Sisters classic, Automatic. I added some keyboards to this one just for some variety, but first we'll start with the guitar. I'm playing this pattern. So I'm just repeating a C note on the fifth fret of the G string. And I'm just slightly using my palm to rest on the bridge to give it that muted sound. I'm just picking with up and down strokes. Um, so just kind of this kind of pattern. Then just a couple and a D on seven with a slight bend back to C. Okay, and then the second time again repeating that C note. Yeah, and then so, then B flat A G A, eight seven five seven on the D string, and I'm playing that through twice for the intro and chorus, okay, and then kind of at the end of the chorus um, and intro we've got. So, I'm playing a G, a B flat, and an F. And that's played on the bass over a C chord. So that gives us a C7 or C11 or C7 sus4, however you want to think of it. But basically we've got the fifth, seventh, and the fourth note. G, B flat, and F. So um, and then I just move my little finger down. So we've got 12, 11, 13. 
I'm moving it down to 12, 11, 12 to get a C7. Then, again, moving my little finger up, back to 13, back to the F. Down to 12 for the E. Then a D on 10, so we've got 12, 11, 10 now. And then playing a C on 13 on the B string with that G still on 12. So, those two notes. So, okay, and that takes us into the verse. So, on the verse, I'm playing, I come in with this. Just this little lick. So I'm just playing D, C, F. Seven, five on G and three on D. And then I'm just filling in with a little B flat there on three on the G string. Kind of repeating that phrase in the verse, the first part of the verse. And it kind of goes, there's a little X, because the D a little bit earlier, I think, on the last time. Just plays a few extra on that D. That kind of thing. But really just sort of picking around those notes. Um, it all fits, okay? So it's really just the notes of D, C, and B flat, because we're basically playing of a B flat chord, mainly. And that's the third of the B flat, the ninth, the root, and the fifth. So they all kind of fit nicely, okay? And then pre-chorus, I'm just playing So I'm playing uh, 3, 3 and 3, a G minor, which is played over B flat. So it could be a B flat 6 or G minor, depends on how you want to think about it. But 3, 3 and 3 to A minor on 5, 5, 5. Then I'm playing B flat on 7, 6, 6. Then my obscenity. Then G minor again, F on two one one, back to G minor, and then we've got this F sharp five chord. So I'm playing three on D, two and two, A and C sharp there on the G and B strings. Then again, G minor, A minor, B flat, then just that, that G minor, don't do the, this time, just stay on that G minor, that takes us back into the chorus. So just back into what we played before, followed by... Okay, and there's a little extra guitar bit on the kind of breakdown section where I'm just playing. Um, so I'm just playing six, six, and six on the A, D, and G strings. So we've got basically an E7 sus4 chord. E flat seven, sorry. E flat, A flat, D flat. Then I'm playing six, five, six to get an E flat seven chord. So, so just so I'm just using my second finger, keeping that where it is, and then just using my third finger for the D and G strings, so I can just use my first finger on five. So I'm going from six, six, six to six, five, six. Mm -hmm. 
and then just playing the top part of a, an E9 chord, E flat 9, all the way up on 18, 18, 18 on the top three strings. So, nice and funky. So that's the guitar part. Next we'll take a look at the bass. For the bass part, I was playing through a synth filter, which is one of the built-in digital filters on the Line 6 amp I'm using. So I get this kind of sound. But I'll just turn that off, just so it makes it a little easier to follow for the lesson. Okay, so I'm starting on the C, on three on the A string, and go to a D. So three to five, then G, A, B flat to C. So three, five, six on the bottom string, back to three on the A string. So that's what I'm playing over the chorus. An intro. And I go from that that's C down into the verse to a B flat. So on the verse I'm playing B flat. Going to a D, so one to five on the A string, then D D C F five five three on A down to one on E. So So this is the pre-chorus bit, so on the pre-chorus, again, I'm starting on B flat, on one, then a little passing note of G on three, on the bottom string, to C, then a little chromatic run C, C sharp, D, Three, four, five on the A string. Now I'm going G, G, F, G, F. Three, three, one, three, one. Then again. So that's just the same, and then just stay on the G to take us into the chorus. Again, the chorus is back to okay, and, uh, and when it guitar only breaks down to just the guitar, that's where you just play it. those bits. Yeah, and then there's just the breakdown section. So for that, I'm playing. So um, I'm starting with C sharp, B, G sharp, four, two, four, on the A and E strings. Then I've got D sharp, C sharp, G sharp, six, four, four. Then F sharp, F, C sharp, B, C sharp. So that's four, three on D, four, two, four on A. Then we just go to a G on three. I play the little fill there, F, F sharp, G, three, four, five on the D string, back to the G. And then we play that again. That's just the same, but instead of going to a G, we now go to an E flat. 
just going four, five, six. Four, five, six. And now we go up from here. So here I'm going E, D, B, F sharp, E, B. So seven, five, seven. Nine, seven, seven. Then A and um, so here we've got A, G sharp, E, D, E. Seven, six, seven, five. Seven. Okay, and and then we go down to the bottom, and then the back into a chorus. So just back to a back to a G on three it takes us back into repeat of chorus section. So next we'll take a look at the keyboards for change. Now I don't. I don't normally do the keyboard part, but somebody asked me to do it and I thought, well, why not? Let's give it a go. I'm sure a real keyboard. I don't normally do the keyboard parts, but somebody asked me to take a look at it. So I thought, why not? It's good to do something different. I'm sure a real keyboard player could do this much better. But I'm starting with... So I've got an organ sound on my keyboard playing through Logic and I'm playing a C7 sus4. I'm playing G. B flat, C, and F. To a C7, G, B flat, C, and E. And then just taking that top note down. So. So. The top note, F. Just going down the scale, F, E, D, C. Just keeping those two notes on the bottom. Okay, and that's what I'm playing on the chorus. Now, I did have a second synth that came in. Just playing the same thing with... Just putting some modulation with the modulation wheel, which is in my uh, left hand here. Just... Just on that C7 chord. Okay, so I just did that as a little extra. And also, I've got that part, which I'm just playing C, G, C, C. So, C, G, C, G, C. Okay, so that's the chorus section. Now, for the verse, I'll go back to the organ sound. And I'm playing... So I'm playing a, a B flat six, which is the same as a G minor. Basically, I'm playing B flat, D, and G. So I'm leaving the fifth out, and then going to the fifth. So B flat, D, G. And then that's what I'm playing. So I'm going. So, G to F over the B flat and D. And then, that again. Same. Play an F. And go to an F chord. C, F, A. And then the second time, so here I'm playing again, B flat, D, G, a D minor there, D, F, A, and then to a different inversion of D minor, A, D, F, all of my, so all of my senses down, then a C to an F, C E G to C F A, then a so repeat. So 
just repeats, and then I'm playing a G minor here, which is played over a B flat in the bass, but um, that's on the bass guitar, so I'm just playing G, B flat, D, G, A minor, A, C, A, C, E, A, B flat, so B flat, D, F, D, then I'm playing G minor, F, G minor, and then a, an F with a raised fifth, F sharp five. So F with a sharpened fifth. So A, C sharp, and F. And then again, repeat. And then we're just going into the G minor to take us into the chorus. Okay, so next we'll take a look at the breakdown section. For this breakdown section, I'm using the pitch wheel quite a lot, and I've got it set to a tone. So when I bend, it bends up by a tone, okay? So I start with... Okay, so that's kind of lick one. I'm starting with an F, a D, and a D. I'm bending it up on the pitch wheel. So I've got F, A, D. And release the pitch wheel. Then I play an E minor chord, E, G, B. And, and bend it down with the pitch wheel. And then go into E, uh, B, E, G. A different inversion of E minor. So... Then A minor, A, C, E, and then bending that up and down, F, A and D again, back to where we started, up, bend and release. Okay, the second one is mainly guitar, just at the end, I'm playing B, C sharp and G sharp but bending it straight up by a tone. It's just kind of a little, like, kind of horny stab you've got in there, like a little horn stab. For the third and final one, I'm playing... Starting on an F, and adding some modulation with the modulation wheel. Then to E minor, so F, A and C. To E, G, and B. Then go down to F, A, and D, a D minor. And use the pitch wheel to bend up and release. Then finish on G and B, D, and G. The G chord, so. Great fun solo to play. So as I say, just a bit of an extra there, just putting a bit of keyboards in, but uh, have fun with that and enjoy the Pointer Sisters automatic. Thanks for watching, buddies.